COVID-19 is the worst pandemic of the 21st century with lasting health and socioeconomic effects. Globally, approximately 460 million cases and 6 million deaths have been reported in over the two years of the pandemic. The Igad region has reported over 1 million cases and 22,000 deaths. This accounts for 10% and 9% of all cases and deaths on the African continent, respectively. The pandemic in the region has been described as must due to low testing and reporting and complex response settings, which include poor health system, political unrest, insecurity, poor infrastructure, and floods. Over 60% of all cases and deaths in the region are reported by Ethiopia and Kenya. Sudan and Somalia have the highest case fatality ratio of 6.4 and 5.1, respectively. Six waves of virus spread have been recorded, with the sixth wave having the highest daily incidence and shortest time to the peak. This is characteristic of the highly infectious Omicron variant. This has been followed by a decrease in new cases and deaths in February and March 2022, even with close to a fully reopened economy. This is likely due to the reduction in the susceptible persons in the population. Since the report of the Wuhan SARS-CoV-2 virus in March 2022, new variants of concern have been reported in the region, which include Alpha, Delta, and Omicron. However, lack of whole genome testing capacity has greatly affected genomic surveillance in the Igat region. COVID-19 remains a public health emergency of international concern with no clear exit strategy. Member states therefore must hold fast to the available public health and social measures, must sustain surveillance, must scale up vaccination and effective management of cases to consolidate the gains attained and build back stronger and better.